Back at this again. This is the headline harness that was uh, in that wagon that was acting up the other day. So, put the, you know, hooked everything back up the way it was stock. So I said, if something's wrong with this thing, we're going to have to take it out of the car, which I did. Comes out real easy. And we're going to have to bench test it. So we have a jump box. We have, actually that should be fused over here and it isn't. My bad. Made a mistake with that. But uh, we have that. We have a fused jumper that I'm connecting to our trigger wires. And uh, we're testing this thing. I'll show you what I found. That's better. We put our stock German relay back in. Mel or Melly, I don't know what the hell it's freaking called. But it's German and it's a relay. This is the uh, little trigger wire piece. This is, connects to the uh, stock headlight connector, which is kind of like that in the car. And that just tells the whole harness what to trigger because it's getting power directly from the battery. But how is it going to know what relay to trigger and when? Well, it just gets voltage from the stock headlight connector. So when the low beams are on, high beams are on, it's uh, going to trigger one one or two of the relays. They actually make one of these with four relays too which is better than this because each filament has its own relay instead of just the high beams and low beams. It's better harness. We should add a uh, two more relays to it. It's actually pretty easy to do. You can see this in frame. See what I'm doing over here? testing our circuit so it is working fine because the minute when I connect power now the relay is not clicking like it was before so I'm thinking something was shorted inside the uh, the car when it was all put together and it was between about here and up here in the circuit because that's the only area that gets power it could not be feeding anywhere from back here because there's no power in this end back and nothing so we're trying to figure that out, but um, sometimes when you have a, a circuit like this and you can't figure out what to do, just if you can eliminate it and then test it outside the vehicle, it makes things a lot easier. And again, this uses like a powered source, you know. Make sure it's fused too, because if you start touching wires, it's going to blow up your jump box. Damage your explosion. So, that's what we're up against. Hopefully we'll find something. Gonna have to start taking stuff apart. I still can't figure out the problem, but yeah, I just made a fuse blow and I was testing this hello relay that I put in. Alright, uh, this one's kind of funky. We have the pinout is different than this one, believe it or not. It's 85 and 86, right? 85 and 86 on this relay. That's 85, that's 86. See, remember that. 85 across from each other. On this Hella Relay, we have 85 and 86. 86 is over here. Right there. 85 is over there. Totally different. It's not across from each other. Across from 86 is 87. And then 87 and 30 are paired when 85 and 86 gets power. Totally different. So that's why when I put this relay in, click, clicks. I still have no idea why the low beams stop working on this car. No freaking idea. But when I swapped the relays, it worked. But then when I connected power, I started getting that weird click thing again. I don't know. I'm still thinking that something was screwed up from here to there. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some further digging. Maybe a breaker trips? Maybe. I don't know. So that's my video for now. My light died and uh, this camera battery is dying. So, probably gonna clean up, but we got that far. And when I was testing this relay, that's why I use fuse jumpers because something's gonna happen. Whoop, someone's buzzing in. They wanna get in the condo land. But, um, yeah, something's gonna happen. You're gonna hit stuff and boop. I'd rather have a fire over here inside the fuse than inside your jump box or battery.